President. My name is Ambassador J.T. Yakubu from Fever Farmers Community Empowerment Trust. I am the president of the organization. My experience in today's program, it is a platform to also express our view so that if they really mean uh, uh, to support the government in uh, food security, then I felt that this program will go a long way if they can put it into action, not to just uh, bring people together, make a paper presentation and all that and all that. But if they can follow the charts of the activities and if the money can be channeled in time to the various uh, group of the organizations that uh, were present here, I think Nigeria will go forward in the area of food security, there will be no shortage of food in the country. My assurance is that if he did not mean dry season farming, today, he, 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 my assurance is that if he has not known the truth of what is happening in the fear, and he actually meant to do the federal government work to support on the food security on what is happening in the nation, I think he will change a different dimension. And uh, other things that I've noticed today, okay, there is a lot of uh, uh, people that uh, they put in order to, 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 to paddle the affairs of the commodities. And the people were actually giving out their contacts, in which various organizations have collected their contacts, which means if they are not serious over that to make a change, then they will not go to that. And another assurance, and another thing that I also assured me, they have also invited some reputable banks that are ready to do the, uh, uh, the work to anchor with them. So when you are talking of anchor, if you didn't, it is just like a chain program. And if one caught, then which means the total program is fair. But I can see today, many people will see on board today, which means they are ready to make a change for actualization, not putting people into the middle of a river and leave people there. You spend your money, you plant it, and no disbursement of money at the end of the exercise, you don't even know what to do again. You hold this one, this one say no. You hold the other person, he say no. And at the end of the exercise, this and farmer begin to come upon us together with even the input suppliers. But I think this uh, 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 dry season is like the CBN governor is looking at even the flow that has happened in part of the country that has been actually uh, supplying rice and other commodities to this nation. So in view of this, I have seen even they are put in place about 1, 000, about 1 million farmers, which means it's 1 million uh, hectares, and they have increased the commodity, which means the, the fund also will actually be increased. Our prayer is that we will see it on ground now. My words to my members to encourage them that, yes, I, we were there live and direct, and uh, definitely the CBN have taken a move to change and correct some of the lapses. And that was why they called this meeting earlier for the dry season. Unlike our previous years, it is, it is almost around uh, December before they can be calling the meeting, which the season has already passed. But now they call the meeting at an uh, appropriate time. And if we can keep on to it, then which means uh, uh, it shall be successful. My name is Engineer Salerabo, representing FACET. Uh, this CBN Anchor Borrower Scheme is a great opportunity because the CBN has really given us his word that from the delayance of that Anchor Borrowers is no more. And we're also told for the suppliers, we are cautioned to supply the input on right time so they'll be able to meet up with the farming season. 
and of course we were able to talk about the hectares of um, tomatoes to be farmed this time around with the readily available uh, take off takers at least the farmers were gingered we also engineered that this time around the rice farming is going to be boosted knowing that in the south south where the flooding has eaten up we are left with the challenge of making a bomber harvest so that we can boost and also help the capacity of food production in Nigeria. The, the stakeholders were able to raise uh, some of the problems challenging this CBN and Coborough scheme. The, the CBN governor this time around has given his word that the delay, as I said, in terms of the input suppliers will not be delayed and most of what normally truncates the borrowers the uncle borrower scheme is that of the, imp, the the collateral from the banks but they have given us their words that this time around it will be mild so that it will ease the access of that uncle borrower scheme as we go on because it wasn't the whole members that were invited here and as a reasonable uh, organization once we get back we disseminate information down to the grassroots so that we will uh, disseminate that information and dismiss the fears of our members in terms of getting that loan to be able to carry on with the activities of farming of this dry season. My name is Matthew Joseph Faraka, Evil Farmer Committee Empowerment Trust Facet. The experience that we have for the past will come to eye on the issue because in previous times we were having challenge. <coughs> when the CBN tell us that we should go and clear farms, we should go and do some other things in order to get money for to get money for conservation, for preparing of land. We do all those things, spend a lot of money, but the money will, at the end of it, it won't be given to us. So this is the challenge we have been facing. But today, thank God, the civilian governor have come into the issue. I know what we are passing through. He decided to iron the issue in the way that we will not find it difficult. Because sometimes when the money is released for us, it will be hung in the bank. They are doing transactions and other defense business apart from the major the major the, apart from the farming that the money was releasing for but today with tango we come together in an iron things we tell them the challenges that we have been passing through in many in other circumstances what we are talking about preparation of land we spend we go into borrowing expecting by the time federal government will burn then we'll continue the remaining conservation but at the end of it the crop will go spoiling because there will not be money to continue. With what we see today, we believe by before this month or next month round up, the, maybe the money, maybe, because nothing can not happen in this country. My name is Sayidu Adaji, um, the MDC of Sadolin Interworld Limited, one of the major anchor program of CVN for 2019-2020. If you said it's not working, it's not true. My background as a businessman is from the oil and gas. I came from oil and gas to do agri business. I've grown rice on 10,000 hectares, 5,618 6, in Nasarawa, 5,444 hectares of rice in Taraba on ground. So anybody that tells you the CBN federal government program of Ankobora program is not working, it's not true. You said it's not everybody. I'll give you reasons. And why is it like that? Yes, CBN has a mechanized type of farming. When you say mechanized, at large scale, that is, that is what Sadolin is doing at the moment, where I have 17,275 farmers. With, with, with 17,275 hectares. So, and um, this money is coming from CBN to a commercial bank. The commercial bank need 
what they will take from you to give you the money. And what do you call that? A collateral. The last time I checked, what we are assessing, Sadolini is assessing from CBN through NISA Microfinance, is 3.872 billion naira. So the collateral of 70% of that, if I can do very well, is about 2.6 billion naira. Where is the property of 2.6 billion naira? You need to take a property of that amount for you to assess your money. So anybody that says it's not working, maybe he has not tried hard enough. Very fine. Let me add a point. There, 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 there are issues of money being delayed in the bank. We've been able to go along with that with some of the banks. Sadolin is a nice old bank. The, the, the little delay comes from documentation, from my last study. So if you are able to do your documentation on time, you will be fine. We need the management of CBN and part of presidency again to still intervene in the commercial banks. Please, as soon as you get this money, let it go to the farmers so that we can start growing. Uh, we can start growing what we we'll eat in the country. If oil has not dried, but today oil is very poor in the market. If it dries, what will you say? So let us farm to feed ourselves first.